one major problem we're having. This thing continues to suck gaskets. The carburetor is rock solid. I replaced these bolts with lock nylon lock nuts. It is not coming loose, yet we're still sucking gaskets. I have one more paper gasket I'm gonna try. I, I just don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? That's all that's left of that gasket. It, I mean, where did it go? It just got sucked in there. I don't get it, <laughs> I just don't get it. We're gonna try it one more time, this gasket here. And if that gasket doesn't hold, we're gonna have to do that whole different option. Make sure, yeah. It ain't moving. Let's put that on there. It's easier to get the far side done first. Take your time. Consequently, this is not a choke. This is an enrichment circuit. That's the enrichment circuit off. You push it down and that fl essentially floods the carburetor with a bunch of gas to enrich in it, right? For cold starts. What that means is the circuitry in this carburetor is very advanced. A lot of people look at carburetors and kind of laugh in this day of computer age technology, but this is a very well-made carburetor. People have crossed deserts on these types of carburetors on dirt bikes and stuff. All right, that sucker's on there and it's as solid as it was before. And uh, we're gonna let it sit. I'm tired of looking at it right now. And get this guy back on. I usually just massage it, it'll get back down on there and not be, it'll never come off without any real effort. But we got this back on, got this guy on. Um, this should work. You'll know Monday when I go out on the, uh, back out, uh, when we get back out on the river. See you guys.